Tony Starr and Cam Rio on purpose, kicking it on my couch with my humble views about what to know about where to go this week. First off, how about them Cougars? My old school, my kids old school, both my parents old school, the mighty, mighty Cougars pulled off the biggest, most unlikely comeback I've ever seen in decades of watching Ventura High School boys basketball. Down by 15 in the third quarter to an athletic Compton Tar Babes team at a packed Ventura College gym. It was seemingly zero chance to win. The Cougars went into a zone which fueled an 18-0 run, ended up winning by a dozen. Making 26 free throws in a row didn't hurt. Setting up the CIF 2AA championship game Saturday at high noon 30 at Anaheim Convention Center against those evil yuppie drones from Mission Viejo. The San Buena Ventura mission is Mas Viejo, the Nair Viejo. In place since 1782 or the year before Cornwallis surrendered to George Washington at Yorktown a long time ago. Mission Viejo 27-1, Ventura 28-2. Can't wait. Okay, hoops aside, I'm here to talk to you wonderful folks about live music. And of that end, about a faster car, a richer girlfriend, even one with a job. Here's all I'll be lurking in the back this week. There's lots of good stuff this week, so I talk fast, so listen up. Okay, tonight, Friday night, 80s flashback moment with that spacey blonde bombshell, Dale Bozio, fronting missing persons that we at the Key Club in Hollyweird. Captain Cardiac and the Coroners will be playing tunes from back when the AM radio was cool, and maybe even your grandparents were cool as well, at the Cavernous Canyon Club in Agoura. Up here in the 805, where we like it, the Skyladies will party hardy at the shores in Oxnard or down in Harbor, the 805's top money-making DUI thoroughfare. Let the county muddle through without any assistance from you. There's hot chick rock and reggae with Divine Crime with the Bombay and Ventura, while a few blocks north of Zoe's a singer-songwriter night with former Toad Boy Glenn Phillips and Garrison Starr opening. At Yoli's just Lori Morvan playing some blues and up Highway 33 to the Jester on the main drag. The Corsican Brothers will play some pure power pop. And finally, on a Friday, up the coast of Santa Barbara, it's Rye Wise Guy Stan Ridgway, former frontman of Walla Voodoo, doing his thing at Soho. Saw the band a long time ago and saw him solo at the Red Cove. He's worth the drive. On Saturday, Steve White and the Barstool Pigeons, all Dodger fans, playing some blues and bluesy rock at Blackbeard's Barbecue down in the Ventura Harbor. And all those Shoemaker Brothers will play original rock at the Bombay. The pop will play some pop rock at the Star Lounge. And around the corner, Frank Browse will do a solo Mercy Beat thing in the afternoon at Tootie's in Ventura and then again at Eric Erickson's on the pier. Rocking since 83, it's KGB, Killer Garage Band. They'll be at Jay's Tapas with Tracy Longo shredding on guitar. Down the wine house, Troll to is as Jesse Siegenberg's latest project, Rancho Riata, not far away at Yoli's. Kid Ramos will shred on guitar for Los Fabulocos. On Sunday, there's a million of them, must be more Chiba. They'll be at the Music Box in Hollywood. who will appear in the 805 where we still like it. They've been around forever. It's raw silk up all those stairs at the watermark in Ventura Sunday afternoon. On Monday, it's a home game for those tuneful Santa Barbarians, Tommy and the High Pilots at Zoe's. On Tuesday and Wednesday, the Gibson Amphitheater, where they drill you shamelessly to park, it's Los Lobos and Eric Clapton. They've had a few hits between them. And also on Tuesday, up the, up the coast to Santa Barbara, it's Foster the People at Soho. And frontman Mark Foster was a pretty funny interview in this week's Time Out. Further proof that I'm hardly making any of this up. And every day of the week, something's happening. On Wednesday, it's Soulful Blues from, from Kev Moe at the Canyon Club. And local rock star Jonathan McEwen will do something interesting at the Big Buddha Lounge in Oakview. And Ojai Jam Band Heroes Shades of Day will be taking a road trip to Santa Barbara to play at the Blue Agave. Finally, on a Thursday, it's former Minutemen bass dude now on his own when he's not the bass player for the Stooges. It's Mike Watt at Velvet Jones. Check out his funny interview in this week's timeout section. And veteran blues harmonica icon Charlie Musselwhite will blow minds at the Libero Theater in Santa Barbara. Is that a rockin' week or what? Okay, that's that. And now this rock and roll call, the record rating service of cyberspace. And my humble advice to buy it, fly it, or walk it right on by it. First up, new one by James Blunt. The album is Some Kind of Trouble, and it's on Mighty Mighty Atlantic Records. This is a former British Army officer's third album, and he has that instantly recognizable quivering voice thing going on. Once again, a solid effort from Mr. B. It's just hook filled pop and folk, superstar, and stay the night, or a couple of the keepers, as the further explanation, exploration of Love Lousy continues unabated. This guy's a lifer and not in the Army either. Buy it. Next up, new one from Scars on 45. It's a four song EP called Gimme Something, also on Atlantic. This is an acoustic outfit from Leeds, strumming themselves further and further away from a day job with those catchy pop rock tunes. Imagine British invasion icons Chad and Jeremy or Peter and Gordon with more guys, more hands strumming acoustic guitars and more voices to harmonize. No one wearing a Slayer shirt would appreciate these guys who are as safe as whistling in the backyard and grandma safe as well, yet still pleasant enough and worth a listen. And the last one, Don't Say, almost had me ready to initiate the polite round of applause, but since I was driving, I might have crashed into that bimbonic idiot on the telephone in front of me, driving badly just like they always do. And finally, the latest from the pride of Oakdale, California, Brent Denon. 
Brett Denon. I can do that. The album is Loverboy, and it's on dual tone. His former manager, Listing Miracle, a beautiful downtown. Foster Park did a good job. Denon is a bottom fighter rock star. He's got tunes in every movie on and every TV show. He tours everywhere to everybody. This is his fourth album, but with that thin voice, he's an acquired taste. With the, exception, with the exception of Come Back Kid, I find this one wimpy and weak, and I'm going to walk right on by this one. Okay, that's it for this time. Thanks for hanging out for these few precious moments. Darn glad to be here. Bill Losey, Studio 805. Go check out some live music. It's fun. No one if no one tells you how to act, how you going to be? Go Cougars. Hit it in. It's 72 degrees. Zero chance of rain. It's been a perfect day. 